Hey there, fellow magical teachers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic. Episode 15, Curse of Kai. Well, Kai is graduated. So if you have a student that you really hate and you don't want, you could just expel them, but there's a, um, there's a penalty for it. So it's best if you can not expel, uh, just to not expel. Because expulsion uh, weighs pretty heavy on your teachers. So we have all the materials for the Lavalina Stye. You can see the amount of space that I cleared out for it. It's a relatively big thing. And we'll get that built. And then we'll be able to um, produce the iron that we need for the rest of the lightning rods. If the student dies, I might be able to get another ghostly assistant. Uh, nope. No one is a ghost assistant like S.H.I.E.L.D. is. S.H.I.E.L.D. is unique in that way. There's no way to, like, make a new founder ghost. So the only... There's a, a few benefits for people dying, which is, like, you can have graves to grow hollow lilies. And there's other types of graves as well. Um, so there are graves that impart mood bonuses and graves that will fetch you smoke pearls. Uh, but there aren't graves that... And, and graves that, that um, inspire students. But there aren't graves that, um, that create a ghost to help you. So you can never get a new founder ghost. Founder ghosts are unique in that way. Founder ghosts can also never fight, never sleep, never, you know, eat. Never, so they're uh, and and they're not bound by the corporeal walls of your school. They're very very useful, but they're um, they're there's no process to make more of them. So I'm trying to. Oh, there we go. We got, that's some pig. So we got the research allowing us to make our own iron through the Lavalina Stye. Um, and we're about to build the Lavalina Stye. So I think I am going to get uh, pick-me-ups. Quick, uh... No, I'm going to go straight for the Chromebug. Here's my mind. Azarun, thank you for the, um, the resub. Thank you, thank you. Cheers. Okay, you guys just want them to graduate. You've had enough of them. I'm, I'm cool with that. I think I've sufficiently proven how annoying it is to have a, a moody person <laughs> in your school. It's problematic. I like how I have rats down here. Moody and not super useful. Yeah, true. He's easily replaced by just any any dark magic student. The only thing he'd be really useful at is repelling fog. Um, as faculty. So that's the one place that I'll miss him. But you know, oh well, whatever. And in fact, how about he does it now? That just means we have to repel more frequently. That's fine. Oh, 
All right, checking what we've revealed here. A smoky crystal. Gonna want to get that. Uh. Clouded crystal. That is absolutely the top priority. So shield. Stop what you're doing and get that cloudy. And then for plants, there's three trapdoor vines. 0% grown, 0% grown, and 100% grown. So there is a trapdoor vine here. Catherine, I'm sorry, you're going to be pulling night duty. Going for that trapdoor vine. Most of the time when you uh, pull back the fog, the trapdoor vines are 0% grown. And by the time they grow enough to harvest, the fog has already overtaken them. Which is why trapdoor vines are very rare to harvest because of the of how how short they last. So I always go for trapdoor vines like immediately because it's obnoxious to try to harvest. Uh, so anytime there's an opportunity, I jump at it as a result. It sucks for the person that is um, tasked with getting in the middle of the night, but like there, you know, there really is nothing I can do about that. Seems like a small radius for lightning rods. Yeah, they they protect maybe like, like I'm gonna make a number up, but like seven to the left, seven to the right, something like that. The thing is, if I build more than I need right now, when the uh, school becomes wider, I can just spread them out more evenly, so I don't have to rebuild them. Just rather move them around. Oh yes, we got an emerald statue. Nice. Oh, that's great. That's my favorite one to get out of those clouds, as I will. Uh, demonstrate right now. And then, Kath, you got the vine? Uh, I, I'm assuming. Yeah. Go, where was it? You, Yeah, it's not on the... Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, so I'll have S.H.I.E.L.D. go back for the seed. So the reason is these statues break down into uh, very nice ingredients. I usually don't keep them. They add a lot of luxury, but um, I don't keep them because the materials that they're made out of are more valuable. So down here is, is how you make them. Uh, where they're made of ignium, which is uh, very annoying to produce yourself. So uh, I love getting emerald statues because you can break down, uh, break them down for ignium, which is like awesome. The same actually can be said of the huge uh, ornate rug I got here. Um, there might be a case where I want to break it down because the huge ornate rugs here are made of uh, fibrous textile, and fibrous textile is what is required to make a scrivener's desk. No, that's not true. They require ash parchment. Never mind. I take that back. Okay, we got the seed. Good. Oh, and then shield. Refill the ward. Once you have that. So here is the uh, Loveliness die. And we're going to have it make iron until I have, let's say, 100. And gulpstone until I have 100. Uh, I don't need regular stone right now, but in the case that I do, I can always add that to the bill as well. Regular stone until I have 100. So now the students will feed, uh, truffles. I love the name. We'll feed truffles and, uh, and produce iron and sculpt stone. Sculpt stone is, um, a special type of stone for... Uh, like luxury design parts of the base. Cool. Uh, hardy foliage is done. So take a look over here. We now have the ability to plant our own trees and plant wormweed. And we're pushing towards support beams all the way down to Cronebug. 
So the thing about the lavalina sty is it produces a lot of filth, but because I put it in the basement, you can't get oozes in the basement. So it's a good way to negate all the filth. And then also this chest here, I'm going to clear all and then say meals. Only have slop and only have, let's say, ten, five slop. So I'm making 10 slop and I'll store five of it in the basement for the lavalina of Lenestai, and then five of it for the crone bug, which will be built above ground. The crone bug is a massive refining beast that won't fit underground. It's a chunker. Oh, he is about to have more breaks. How close are you? Oh God, you're only a third of the way to level six. Hmm. Man, I almost want to just expel him. Is he going to be a problem? Yeah, he's probably about to have a, yet another mental break. He has so many conviction problems right now. Who's the best dark teacher? I don't really have one. Mike is a two, Drake is a one, Kathanon is a one, Locke is a two. So like Locke or Drake, but the benefits of Locke or Drake is like 20%. It's really not that much. So we just researched a little support. A little support allows you to add support beams to hold up and overhang a little bit further out. I'm not gonna bother building any because we are very quickly going to get um, the even more beneficial uh, support beams so don't need to worry about that. But we also unlocked the bridge. So now we can build uh, bridges, which as you can see, require a lot less support than regular floors. So we can go 11 out with a bridge and bridges also never get hit by lightning or, you know, go seven out for a floor. So bridges are also um, very handy in making towered rooms. That's another big thing that it will allow us to do. And Mike is just blown through this research. Man, he is just... It's nothing to him. It's awesome. Uh, so updating the priority now. Work towards a drone bug head. So there's the very important Igneum that we got. What does the crown rod make? Primarily frost glass, which is needed for large windows. So if you take a look at the room requirements here, common rooms require uh, large windows or regular windows, and then house commons require three large windows or a huge window. Uh, house commons is the best place for your students to be. And then for your own uh, teachers, the uh, Sala à manger requires a huge window as well, or large windows. And for the bedchamber requires three large windows or a huge window. So all of those window requirements are all frost glass. And the only way to get frost glass is the crown bug, unless you find it through combat or whatever. So um, we're getting the crown bug so that we can start to get better bedrooms, better dining rooms, better house commons, all that stuff. Everything is stuck behind getting the crone bug. That's why we're pushing it for it. I just took a detour to get the lavalina sty because the lavalina sty is going to give us the iron and sculpt stone that we need for other purposes. And it was just a little bit easier to get to first. Uh, question for you all. Should we just expel Kai? I know I've invested a lot of time in him, so... Maybe it makes sense for him to graduate anyway, but oh god, is it painful. Because he is just uh, a big old mopey mess all the time. Oh, and I have more... I actually don't know if we can reach this spot. But I'll put the last lightning rod in so I can get rid of that. Uh, it's a backlogged priority. So what I might want to do, I'm thinking. 
I actually might want to detour right now to get going places before the chrome bug. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, he is having his, like, fifth break risk. <laughs> if I had a house commons, um, he would be a lot happier. He'd be getting massive bonuses from, like, sleeping and eating and all that stuff. I just don't have a house commons, so he's just losing his noggin being upset. Also, he's like a, you know, a death cult, or death cult. He's a raven cultist, so. Oh, there he goes again, feeding Frenzy. He's eating all our food for, like, the third time in a row. At least he's not running away into the fog, requiring us to fight for him. Could be worse, I suppose. Can anyone reach this lightning rod? I don't think anyone can. Oh, uh, Drake can. Drake has higher level assemble, or higher level air magic, so he can um, cast further. Actually, Mike would be able to do it even better. In fact, Mike, how about Mike d does it? I'm going to have Mike take a break from research to cast the lightning rug into existence. Make sure to patch him up afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I do already have the wormweed. Uh, let me double check. Uh, no, I don't. Good call. You know what? I barely have wormweed th on the map tile. Oop, that was a destroy. Let's not destroy the only thing that keeps our student alive. I might need to um, start planting wormweed because there's almost none of it uh, anywhere. And that will be fairly deadly to our students if we don't have wormweed to keep them alive. Um, the problem is wormweed is like big. It's a big plot, as you can see. It, it So it it's, doesn't fit nicely. So I can like put one here, I guess. But, uh, because I don't have a garden yet, I have very limited capacity to plant for me. And there he goes. What a dramatic little... Uh, I'll not say what I was going to say. But, alright, you guys vote to keep him. So I'll try to keep him alive. Do my, do my best. If I wanted more lightning rods, I'd need a little bit more smoke stick. I'd rather have too many than too few, so I'll get said smoke stick. Is the penalty worse for him dying? So the penalty for him dying would, I believe, be worse. The problem is I don't remember. I don't usually let my students die or be expelled. So it's actually... That's, that's one of the problems of when I learn a game. I tend not to learn the failure conditions because I try not to fail so <laughs> I'm actually not great at answering those kind of questions because it's like hmm have I let a student die I don't remember having let one die so I'm sure I have but it just doesn't happen very often so I'm gonna move these around to space them out a little bit uh, a little bit more completely just to make sure I don't get struck and Mike, this is going to be on you because you're the you're the assembler here. Where's the fog now? Okay, it's not that close. But yeah, we are, uh, we're getting a lot of, um, important resources from that sty already. Which is good.
and having double researchers in a workshop. Helping out pretty good. What's your magic at now? Halfway? Oh my god. Okay. I have some mental plans. I could deal with this. But yeah, he Kai is holding everything up. Oh, Corrupted Mana Lantern. Oh, man, and it is not close. Okay, so we want to graduate Kai and go to the Lantern. So my plan is to have um, S.H.I.E.L.D. take over for teaching so that my teachers, other teachers, can uh, push to the Lantern. Uh... Because I would need all four of them fighting towards the lantern. And yeah, he's crazy moody. He's back to, um... If you take, take a look at his status, he's back to purposeless. Because he's leveling up too slowly. So he's super pissed. There is a tiny chance I might be able to survive, like, a... The defeat a three skull or higher enemy party. But, like, to, to give, give him purpose... Um... But it's a big risk, because level 3 Skull fights are, like, not easy fights. Hey, Petrable, thank you for the reset. Essentially, taking care of him is slowing me down a lot. Making it, uh, honestly, even more difficult. Why is this just a steer? Oh, because it's not private. Got it. Uh... there. Okay, uh, let's try to fight to the lantern. So we have to go down the spine. I'll bring eight rejuvenation potions. And then I can also have, um, I can also have, uh, shield move the mana lantern a little closer to the top of the spine. Having the Mana Lantern not where uh, Underschool Ward needs to be protecting is actually kind of nice, because then I don't need to refill the ward. What is nice about lightning is because lightning can target like any enemy. I can single out the ones in back that are more annoying and knock them out of the fight early, which you aren't really able to do with most of the other schools of magic. Most of the other schools of magic have to go front row to back row, whereas lightning is the one of the exceptions. Water has some back attacks and then um, dark has like a AOE attacks. So there are some exceptions. There we go. One down. What resources did I even get from this? I don't even know. Oh, okay. Not terrible. Next one will give a lot of iron, which is nice. So I think I brought eight rejuvenations and go. So they're just going to refill off of this mana lantern and then get back. Oh no, they're not. What the hell? Oh, turn around. Kath. Here, I'll just force Kath to, like, mine next to it. Okay, there we go. And now, begin. Eight. And I'm not going to have them refill mana, because their mana is almost full. If I have them refill mana again, they might, like, wander off and do something silly. 
Now, the other issue that's happening here is Kai is so upset that his miss fire rate is 31%. So 31% of the time when he's trying to learn, he's not learning anyway. It's one of those like vicious cycle feedback loops where like they're so upset about not learning that they not learn worse or not learn harder or whatever you want to call it. And that's absolutely happening in this scenario. Um, all right, Locke is going to get a little beat up from this. Ooh, no, never mind. Went for Drake. Okay. Drake, are you... Oh, you got cursed. Yeah, okay. Their ability is to curse us with uh, lowered power. That's why Drake's damage went to hell. Definitely a harder of the fight, harder fight than we've been fighting. Almost through it, with uh, currently no one's injured, and I think it will stay that way. Unless, uh, no, I have enough mana for one more armor. Of stone and iron so the next fight will be the corrupted lantern one uh i have what five six seven rejuve potions left and fill mana they're probably gonna fill mana somewhere like way up top yeah i'm gonna allow it so they don't have to micromanage it it's not a, that big of a deal Well, my lightning users will be able to hit this lantern. Normally the lantern attacks everyone for 30, but because um, because Mike can just cast directly on the lantern, it makes it very, this fight, uh, almost too easy. Because you can just go, hey, lantern, uh, shut up. And now the lantern's not going to do 120 damage to our team. Very nice. What benefits does graduating him get? Uh, I will have Savant Scrolls from graduating him. Which honestly is not that huge of a benefit, but yeah. I also get the benefit of not having people moody that we expelled him. As odd as that might sound, it's a benefit to not have even more conviction loss from a bad student. We crit. Nope. Okay. Lantern's been cleared. That's good. And this is, um, uh, this needs to be awarded. It has, uh, resources there, so I want to keep the wards up. But as you can see, the deeper you go, uh, the more the uh, resource rewards. So there's definitely a, like a financial incentive in being a greedy dwarf and go, you know, digging deep. Right. Current priority now is to graduate Kai and work towards crone bugs. Oh my god. Just never lets up. So you have a chest smasher spawning in three hours. Oh, 
Oh wow, we almost have going places already. Dang, that was quick. That will be a very important research to have finished. I'll, I will say. Oh, he's about to have a mental break. His misfire chance is now 40%. He's so upset. Oh, man. I didn't realize uh, Cathanon was so deep in this dungeon. Probably moving the mana lantern. That now we're, like, waiting forever for him to attend to this fight. But here we go. Fourth fight of the day. Probably... Hmm. No, I'm going to focus on the chest masher. I was, I was contemplating focusing on the torch snuffer because it has mana leech. Uh, but the chest masher will be able to kill real quick. Are any of the materials you get going down work to repel fog? No. Uh, repelling the fog is all surface materials. That's a very good question, though. So there's nothing... Um, the game doesn't force you to go through the dungeons. There's just a lot of benefit in doing it. But um, it doesn't help you necessarily against the fog. It just helps you build a bigger school for the most part. And better students. So the problem that we're going to face is the Torch Snuffer is leeching the rest of Locke's mana. So I might want to use Cathanon to regen Locke's mana so Locke can continue to armor, armor himself. Because he, he can't armor himself anymore. Or just to tank it. Uh, maybe just tank it and try to kill this thing quicker. Because if I get a crit here, the fight's over. Yep, crit. You know that there's a crit when it does, like, that zoom-in animation? That is an indicator that you're critting. Alright, so lock. Let's drink one of these. That brings you up to 70 out of 80. That's good enough. And this is, we're about to finish with one of my favorite researches, which is awesome. So we now have the ability to build our own foundations to expand the ground level of the school, which is huge. So what we could do with the stone that we have is to literally make the school bigger on the ground floor. Um, so shield, I'm going to have you chop these trees down, harvest these gut berries and work on that. Uh, it also allows us to protect a garden. So one of the, oh, oozy stomach. Oh, that's annoying. So one of the other benefits of foundation is if I build a foundation here with like a wall, it will keep the um, it will keep most of the croa nests or croas from encroaching on our plants, which is an incredibly powerful tool to keep to to make sure that your plants don't get eaten by um, by uh, by croa. Oh my god. Stop puking everywhere. This this Kai is killing me. So I'm going to try to keep things um, symmetrical. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out. And I'll do seven out on both sides. And one of the benefits of this is then I can build a wall here and support a much larger room over it and do the same on the other side 
putting in the house commons on one side and the sala à manger on the other. So we'll have a really nice dining room and a really nice house commons to keep everyone much, much, much happier once we have the crone bug fully going. I can even, even, oh god, Mike's also about to have a mental break. We can even put the crone bug here, too, uh, as a potential place. Okay, so he just had his, uh, I'm gonna vomit till I die situation. So shield, you're the only one that's like awake right now, so try to rescue him. I don't know if I have the material. Let's see. I do. Okay. Lucky you, you get to live. I needed 12 wormweed pods and I had 13. He was almost, uh... He almost died. Because I haven't been really growing wormweed. I set one up to grow here, and it really hasn't been tended too much. So the other thing I'm going to need to do is to move my uh, bitter rice plots and the grave uh, shields, uh, founder's grave. I could put the founder's grave like... Uh, a little bit further out. Do we have the supplies of mic breaks? No, not yet. As I said, I had 12 of the 13. I would need 24. So, I'm not great at math, but I think 13 is less than 24. That much I know. He is, I would say, 60% of the way there. Oh, good lord, it cannot come any sooner. Um, I am going to put... Board Drake... on highest priority right now. Of chopping and harvesting, so that we can make room for foundations over, over here. So the current prayer right now is to graduate Kai and um, and set up a Chromebook button. Yeah, that's still true. Yeah, might calm down. I think he was probably just had low recreation or something. And he chilled out. Okay. Uh, I would say Drake probably not on critically high, because then he'll neglect himself. The shield's getting the foundations on the other side, and then once this foundation's set, I can have a wall go up. Oh, we have a gremlin. Where is it? Probably in the kitchen. Yeah, it's in the kitchen. I think... Let's deal with the gremlin. I'm gonna have uh, shield clean and haul. So we don't have gremlins and oozes everywhere. Raven calls is perform better in battle. They gain retaliation equal to 10 times their wand tier when entering battle. Oh, huh, interesting. If we wanted Kai to tank for us. Uh, it's unfortunate, actually, right now that we don't have a tier 3 uh, battle opportunity. Because he does have a medallion to kill level 3 fight without going unconscious. And, like, I would consider putting him in the front lines to face tank with that um, retaliation skill. Because it might prove useful. Especially given the, the amount of annoyance that he has caused us with his constant uh, mood breaks and binges and everything. It's been a lot of fun dealing with uh, that fussy student. Thank you for tuning in to Mind Over Magic, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 23rd. 
If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits, so thank you so very much. Hope to catch a next episode or upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow magic users.